Pat O'Day and Byron Bronson back at the U.S. Powerboat Championships. Our helicopter shot of the K-Boats. Here they come. The crowd loves these as those giant supercharged Chevy engines just shake the ground with their noise. It looks like it'll be a good start. It is a good start as these fly to the south turn. Byron Bronson, call them for us. On the inside, first to the pin is George Wood and K-39. On the outside is Paul Cashard, John Grahava, and Patchen on the inside and up the back shoot. And somewhere in all that spray, George Wood got lost. He's down here all the way from Sumner, Washington. And down the back stretch they go, bouncing, bouncing, moving along at over 130 miles an hour in those ever roughening water here as the wind kicks up on the Colorado River. And now into the north turn in their first lap. Call them through the turn, Byron. As you see them accelerate out of the second turn, that's Chuck Kraft way on the outside. On the inside, now we see Bill Padgett, and next to him, John Grijalva, and way on the outside, Paul Grishard, coming down the front chute. And as you notice, when the boats start to accelerate past, that front end comes up. That is pure horsepower and nothing else but. All right, around the turn. And we've still got a dandy boat race here as we move into the second lap. On the outside, Paul Grishard. On the inside of the number one lane is Bill Padgett. In the middle, big John Grijalva from Hacienda Heights, California. Here comes the second turn of the second lap. What a battle we have going. Paget on the inside, Grishar on the outside. Around the buoy they go. Paget's upside down. Oh, he got into that turn and hooked that chine, and he's upside down. The red flares are in the air. Another boat looks like it's headed for the bottom of the course, and Bill Paget's in the water, but we do see him raise his hand. The rescue boats are coming in, Byron. Pat, again, look at the swiftness of that current. That's drawing not only the boat down, but the driver, too. There's our divers in, one in back and one in front again, getting Bill Padgett ready for the second pickup boat. That rescue boat should be here instantaneously. These guys work at a tremendous rate of speed. There's the Stokes litter. He's getting it ready. And again, this is live. We're not simulating anything here. This is the second time, second time out for a brand new boat, and Bill Padgett is again upside down. I don't understand what's going on. can't see any signs of movement, Pat. This does not look like a good situation. This is the time when we all just hope and pray for the best. Another boat is flipped here on the Colorado River in the U.S. Powerboat Championships. Pat, boat racing, as you know, is the most dangerous motorsport in the world. Four years ago, we lost one driver per month for 14 months, including the world-renowned Bill Muncy. Pat, you were a friend and a speaker at his funeral, were you not? Yes, it was so tragic, but the death of Muncie and Dean Shenoweth has brought about the development of the capsule, which makes unlimited racing safer. And each of these crews, they work hard to try and overcome the things that cause injuries and cause accidents. Pat, we see Bill signaling that everything's okay. That's his parachute he's putting on his chest, by the way. He looks like he's going to be in good shape, but we still have to go to the medical team. They must examine him. I think we've got a driver. There's his hands to his head. He looks like he's all right. They'll move him up to the ambulance and check him over, and we'll be back. These are the U.S. Powerboat Championships from Lost Nevada.